Greetings everyone, today we're going to tell you about the major changes coming to War Thunder in update 1.41. Chief amongst them, War Thunder ground vehicles are now available for all players in open beta testing. There are new aircraft, shading optimization and updated visual effects, and modified weapons and ballistics. Let's have a look at the new aircraft. In the second rank for the Soviets, a 34 series MiG-3 with an AM-35A engine and 20mm Shavak cannons has been added. In the fourth rank, there are two new aircraft. The 1946 IL-10 attacker aircraft, as well as the I-185 fighter with an M-71 engine, a reference model for mass production. The additions in the third rank of the U.S. branch are multi-purpose North American PBJ-1H and PBJ-1J aircraft, naval versions of the medium B-25 Mitchell bomber. These twin-engine aircraft carry not just the bomb payload but also an impressive array of weapons, either 12 high-caliber Browning machine guns in the nose or in addition to 8 other machine guns, a 75mm autocannon. Germany has new aircraft in the fifth rank. There are two new jet fighters, the Messerschmitt 262 a one u 4 with a rapid-fire 50mm gun, and the Messerschmitt 262 c 2 b with hybrid engines. The modifications appear in the branches for German fighters and heavy fighters. The new patch will add three fighters in the fourth rank of the British branch, the Supermarine Spitfire F Mark 14E, Mark 18E, and the Premium Mark 14C. These late modifications of the Spitfire fighter production line with the excellent Griffin engines will cause a real storm in the War Thunder skies. Update 1.41 will bring the long-awaited satisfaction to fans of Japanese aviation. Cockpits have been added to the Japanese Ki-45 heavy fighters of all